play six guys in the history of the league that did what C.J. Stroud did on Sunday. Threw for 470 in that last minute, second win over the Buccaneers. The 470 the most by any rookie in NFL history. Also tied the rookie record with five touchdown passes, 14 touchdowns. This is the okay, big thing. CJ. Only one interception this season. That is the best ratio in the league. And we welcome C.J. Stroud now to the show. I, I appreciate you taking a minute. And I'm just interested in... You wake up, right, and you did that. That was me, <laughs> and the dust settles, and you can reflect on it. And I just am interested in what was the most satisfying part of knowing the day you just had as you think back on it now. Yeah, I mean, for me, I mean, uh, I look back at it, and it's a blessing. I'm, I'm super happy with the win. Uh, it was a big-time win to get back to 500. I watched the game week one against Baltimore, right? And that's clearly one of the best teams in the league. And then you, you compare that to, to what we saw yesterday. But then Ryan made a great point. It's not just the growth from week one to this. It's, it's the ability to put the last game, a loss against the Panthers, in the rearview. Flush that and then be great, the bounce back game. For you, where do you feel like you've grown the most in the short time that you've been in the league? Um, I feel like I've grown just just from my mindset. And I know uh, I've always I've always been kind of a mature person. To, mm. uh, I come from Ohio State, where like every game is the biggest game, and you can't <laughs> lose and national championship or nothing. So uh, my mindset is growing to knowing like, man, this league is a little different. Um, it's not really it's about scheme and like what what uh, coordinators are running and stuff, but it's really about players. Like players make plays. Um, and for me, that's been the biggest thing is just learning who I'm playing against, what type of scheme it is, but who they got on that side that I need to go and attack. And, um, and really, the D-line has really been a big part of that, too. Like, the D-lines in this league are really good. But also, also on top of that, my O-line is great. You got LT, um, got George Fan on the right. Titus has stepped in at guard. So Shaq Mason is holding down. And we've been in and out with centers. But uh, in this league, I know it's just a, it's a one-week mentality. Um, you got to move on. Uh, be confident in yourself knowing that uh, it's going to be a little new that new week. But you got to go in there uh, with straight swag and straight confidence. That's a veteran move right there, giving the O-line some love. Hey. <laughs> better go tackle the tackle and make sure you get them all the tip of the cap. And he said their names, too. I've been impressed, really impressed, at your ability to be a leader. Yeah. And, I, I mean, to be a young man and to walk into a room of grown men who are professionals, who've been doing this. They were watching, you know, they've been watching you when you are in college, and now you're there. How do you balance the respect with the, what is required with your position to be a leader of men? What's been that balance like for you? Um, it's, it's really just been a lot of uh, a lot of bonding, not only on the field but off. Um, a lot of trust building. Um, something that I told myself I was like, I want to be a captain, a leader, and all these things, but I want to earn it. I don't want anything given to me. Um, they they put their head on the chopping board, and you got to go prove it though. You can't just say it and not go out there on the field and do it. So for me, it was not only doing it on the, off the field and building trust that way, but building trust by um, just consistency in my play and just playing really good, playing really hard, and letting guys know, man, I'm gonna go out there and battle for you every game. Now, CJ, yeah, I still remember talking to you in high school on the phone, and the resounding feeling I had was, man, this guy really has it. You've raised the level of every single teammate you've ever had at every level of football that you've played. But that's what you've done for them. What have they done for you, your coaches, your teammates, to help you transition to the NFL so smoothly? Yeah, they, they've instilled a lot of confidence in me. Um, not only am I... Uh, really confident in myself at times. I'm also my biggest critic, uh, sometimes my biggest doubter. Um, I'm just always trying to fight that other self of my uh, of who I am, of uh, that that good guy on the on the left show, on the right shoulder, and that bad guy on the left. Um, and that's a that's a fight every day, not only with football but in life. But um, when I came in, they did nothing but instill confidence in me. Um, and I started from square one, wasn't handed the the uh, starting position. And um, for me, that kind of felt like how it was supposed to be, uh, just earning everything from scratch. Um, building those relationships, I'm um, building trust, um, and that's something that I, I've built with them guys too. Like I'm, I'm trusting my teammates more and more every game. My coaches, uh, Bobby calling the plays, and Nico putting me in the right situations. Um, so I'm really blessed to have a a, a whole group of uh, people that really are supporting everything that I have going on, and it's a blessing. CJ, I want to close with this: You don't win without you. Clearly, all the touchdowns and the yards, but you won by two. That means the three you got from Dario Gumbawale. <laughs> right. That's the difference in this game. Uh, 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 Fairbairn hurt his quad, I think it was, and he's out. I just want you to describe what it's like <laughs> when you're watching a guy go out there who's not a kicker, and you're like, man, God, I hope this goes in. And he made a 33-yarder. Shout out to Dario, man. I know he played soccer growing up. 
Um, and he, he's a multi-sport athlete. He played basketball. His sister's in the WNBA. Um, and right. he, no, he does it all. So, <laughs> but like, how did anybody know he could kick? Like, is that like I can do it? I mean, I mean, are you looking around? I know there's an emergency yeah. kicker, but nobody's expecting a man to have to do it. I mean, that's a heck of a way to find out he could make right. it. Right? Yeah. Now, I was I was surprised. We were in the locker room at halftime. They were like, "We going for two because uh, Kaimi went down." I was like, "Oh no!" Nah. Like, what? Like, if something happens, like we do got to kick. Who got to go? They talking about Dare. He was staring right at me. And I was like, got it, <laughs> <laughs> I got it. <laughs> and he got it. I mean, so, hey, yeah. look, you were nice and all, but if it's not for his three, the all don't win that game. But, hey, 100%. listen, that was huge. congratulations uh, on what has been a tremendous start, and uh, we all send our best good luck and good health, most importantly, the rest of the way, okay? I appreciate y'all, man. God bless. Uh, likewise. Man. Right back at you.